Hey boys, are you going fishing this weekend? Yeah, I love good fishing, but like, we need a boat. James, you still got the boat in your house, man? Yeah, bro. Uh, I got a nice plywood one sheet boat. Uh, oh, wow. An eight, an eight footer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's got a big hole that's, in the bottom though. I don't really that's know what we're good. gonna do about that. A hole in the bottom. Wait, wait. Did you guys see that commercial for like Flex Seal? Yeah, and yeah, he yeah. had like the it was like a screen yeah, yeah, door yeah. on the bottom, and yeah. he covered yeah. it with yeah. and it, and it floated, floated afterwards. It floated, yep. To show you the amazing sealing power of Flex Seal, we replaced the bottom of this boat with a screen door. He covered it in Flex Seal. After a day on the water, not only does it stay afloat, but the inside is completely dry. We could do something like that with it. We could, we could yeah. like, maybe we some screening. So wait, wait, how would that work, though? Yeah. How would that work? What would we do, James? Well, I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, we got my boat, right? Uh, and then, you know, it's got a hole. We're going to put some screening over it. Uh-huh. We're going to secure that screening. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then let's just buy, like, two, three cans of Flex Seal and just toss it on there. What would we do with the Flex Seal, spray the Flex Seal? Would that, I, would, I would spray the Flex Seal on it and maybe, you know, some of the other joints are leaking. Yeah, you know, you might, on there. Yeah, but cock it, too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This sounds expensive, though. What kind of materials would we need to build our boat? Oh, well, we got the boat, which is, uh, of course, made, you know, from the one sheet of plywood. A little right. bit, a uh -huh. little bit extra. Yeah. Uh, some screws. Cock, pine, a little cock. bit of caulk. A lot of caulk. Uh, a lot of caulk. <laughs> <laughs> some uh, some, some wood glue. Some wood some glue. Some wood glue, yeah. All yeah. right, and that's that's how you make the boat, really. It's pretty simple. Uh, you can rib it you know, I use, too. Hey, we got wait, wait, wait. This is a big, how would we incorporate the engineering design process? Oh, that's, that's a good question. Cool. What would we do first? Well, first, we would build a prototype. Yeah. You know? I mean, do we, that, we would, uh -huh. have, we'd have to probably test that test prototype. That thing, yeah. Test yeah. that prototype. Probably document it, too. Uh -huh. And then awesome. analyze and learn from the mistakes and things mm -hmm. that we've done with the prototype. Uh -huh. And then yeah. implement that with our new um, full-size boat. Yeah, yeah. that would yeah. work. That's a good idea. So, and then part of that means that we have to find issues and then redesign it create a better one and create a better see, one yeah, yeah. yeah. It, that's so, it improve yeah but, but then what's the the final how is how are we going to actually break the myth what are we going to do with the final boat after we put the All flex right. on the screen so we're gonna we're gonna take it out to lake wheeler yeah you know? old sorrel road <laughs> old sorrel yeah old yeah. Old sorrel. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 you're gonna want to go down the trail um, and then we're gonna launch it yeah we're, we're, gonna, it we're, gonna, we're gonna see if it floats and we're gonna uh -huh. compare that to our control uh, yeah the, uh, which would be control would be without the flex seal without the flex seal just the uh but yeah. Just the boat yeah, yeah. itself. Just the boat yeah, just itself. Just the boat just itself. The boat. Just the boat. No flex seal at all. All right, boys, this sounds like a fun weekend. All right, all right so uh, here's the plan. All right, we get a one piece of plywood boat, okay? And here's a piece of plywood. I've gone, gone ahead and shot, shown it cut up. You have one, two by, f or yeah, two by eight piece, and then two, one by eight pieces of wood. These are gonna be our sidewalls, and this is gonna be the bottom of the boat. I'm James Hollandhead. This is prototype one. Stim launch. Now, as you can see here, this disgusting algae-filled water. Got a timer going right now. Is uh, is a good test for the disgusting algae-filled lake that we'll be planning on testing on. So, based on the principles of our physical world, I'd like to make the conjecture that this boat is um, it's a simple design, yet it's effective, and I think it's cost friendly because while well, we're in high school we don't have that much money to spend and I think this will get the job done as well as our large scale model. Alright you're on. Alright this is launching two people. Stim boys. Oh got a zimmy. <laughs> You in here? Yeah. yeah he's... <laughs> what? 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 Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> she says low. <laughs> uh, please don't say that. Not low. <laughs> I wouldn't say, say, say it's not. I wouldn't say it's high, though, either. It's sitting right about medium in the water. Yeah. Dude, that's, that's all you need. Be very careful with your movements. Yeah. Viewers can see that Ryan has got himself two plywood <laughs> paddles going we on. We fashioned these paddles. <laughs> Years of hard labor. Yes. The Nepalese make the best plywood paddles, and mm. we spared no expense to get Ryan those paddles. Yep. So uh, after our fourth hour of being on the lake, I think it's uh, safe to say that our control is floatable, and um, no leaks. I think it's good. ready for the high seas. Uh -huh. I think it's ready. Yeah, it's rolling. <laughs> well, this is uh, the stem 
Sim boat revised. We cut a hole in it and got some mesh screening on it. Stapled it down. Oh yeah, put some flex seal on it so it don't mm -hmm. go nowhere. Uh, we have done uh, four coats, coats of flex seal on this and let it dry for a day now um, as per recommended. And as you can see, uh, there still are a few pinholes in it, um, but what we're hoping is that uh, they That's might be sealed flex. underneath and we can't see. Um, but uh, this is, I think is about as good as we're going to get it. Uh, so I think it's just time to go launch. Uh, so here we are, final launching of the boat. We have covered it in flex seal. Um, and uh, just for putting it in here, I do see some water going in, so uh, we'll just see how this goes. <laughs> Taking on more water? Uh, I would say it's taking on about the same amount of water. There is little bubbles now of where water is coming in. <laughs> we're not doing four. <laughs> I, I count. Oh, there's a third one. <laughs> they are popping the flex seal a little bit. It's going through the flex seal? I'd say it is going through the flex seal. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to hear one word, I'd say it. <laughs> uh, let's drag this thing through a bog. <laughs> I can't wait to drag right. through a bog. Yeah. All right, ready? Bridge, pop and tell the coppers, ha ha ha, you can't catch them, you can't stop them, I go by the